The huge crowd that turned out to honor K-9 Jethro proved just how much he meant to the law enforcement community. His handler told me today was very difficult, but he's also grateful for all of the community's support. Today should have been Jethro's third birthday. Instead, a sea of blue fighting back tears and fellow canines gathered for Badge 60's last call. He is now out of service. Jethro, you will be missed by all. A fallen officer's medal was delivered to the canine's handler and owner, Officer Ryan Davis. And later he was handed an urn, Jethro taken in a cruiser one final time. The beloved police dog was shot and killed while on a burglary call with Davis last Saturday. This one's just on such a deeper level because I spend more time with him than I do with my family. It wasn't just cops in the crowd. Many in the community waited in the cold, long lines for the chance to say goodbye to Jethro. I just feel so bad for the Canton Police Department and for the handler, for Officer Davis. Perhaps if, if Jethro had not been there, maybe it would have been the officer that would have got, you know, wounded or killed. The mayor spoke of Jethro's legacy. Jethro's legacy is to remind us all that bravery and devotion can travel on four legs. And if you had any doubt the canine was considered an officer, just listen. We are tired of going to policemen's funerals. I can speak for everybody. Tired of it. Take it seriously. Go home. Ask, do I have a Jethro? Davis says his pain will last a long time. I found myself calling him when I opened the door to let him back in. And, you know, he's not there. I'm calling for him. But today's service and the touching procession of cops and canines will help with the healing. In Canton, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.